little fill up papers. Have some paper here. A little bit of an update. Moral dilemma. I think maybe maybe it's an ethical dilemma. So we had the vintage in the zoo. market yesterday which wasn't bad we had a few hundred dollars in sales um, to catch up uh, Missouri Meerschaum corn cob with some uh, trying to finish off this bag of uh, lane one Q so I got the booth set up, had a lot of oohs and ahs for about five hours, sold one, one, un, uno, each in Japanese, one typewriter. Not exactly how I thought it was going to go. I wasn't expecting on selling all of them. I thought at least, you know, two or three would have been nice. Just for the sake of not having to pack them up and carry them and <laughs> bring them back home. So the majority of my sales was um, a little bit of typewriting paper, stuff I found at estate sales, typewriter ribbon. Which was nice because that means that people actually um, still own and maintain what they have at home. And there's a lot of uh, younger people, men, women. It was really 50-50. Uh, it wasn't like an overwhelming, like, yeah, it's a man's thing. Um, no, it was, uh, it was really split. So the issue I came across right away was an older guy that came up and he was looking at the church wardens that I had, which I had three of them. One of them was a Savinelli and there's uh, two others, which I don't remember what company they were from. And he asked how well, um, if you're able to smoke. <laughs> I think he just said weed. Can you smoke weed in these? And because it's not legal federally and it's not completely legal in the state, I responded with, I didn't hear that. And he said, well, it's okay. I have a card. I'm, um, I smoke medically, blah, 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 which yeah, sure, fine, okay. And if that's the case, then, you know, what he decides to do with his pipe is his business, in my opinion. But I kind of had that dilemma because it, it is still illegal to sell paraphernalia solely for that purpose. I had at least uh, six people, I had about six people total come up and basically ask that question. And um, as the uh, day, as the day progressed, I, um, kind of changed my format and said, well, if you're looking for a cool smoke, you may want to go look at these. If you're looking for, if you enjoy something like Virginia's that tend to burn hotter, these are the ones you want to look at. And in each case, I would point them in the direction of the corn cobs that I had, which they were not interested in. They wanted something cool. 
And not as in it smokes cool, as in it looks cool. Like everybody was looking at the church wardens. I don't know what it is about the long stem. Two or three of those people mentioned uh, Lord of the Rings. So if I'm cleaning estate pipes, and this is the uh, where I end up debating in my head whether or not I should be selling these pipes. So I find these estate pipes. I clean them up the best I can. Make sure that there's no ghosting. Um, clean the bowl. Sanitize the stems. I put all this work into it so that a pipe smoker can pick it up and you know have an enjoyable experience with whatever blend it is that they choose to smoke out of it. And most of my customers were smoking weed. I did have one guy, uh, he came up, admitted that he was primarily a cigar smoker. You know, each their own, whatever. I'm not going to judge anybody on <laughs> what kind of tobacco they smoke, except for cigarettes. Cigarettes, come on, you can do better. But he said, you know, I enjoy a good cigar. Uh, went on to talk about like some of the different cigars that he he likes, and I was telling him about how like some of the cigar companies are expanding into the uh, pipe tobacco realm. And I think that um, that piqued his interest because that meant that he could smoke something out of a pipe that he was familiar with already. It wasn't just a whole new adventure. And he ended up getting uh, one of the really, really cheap. It was, it was really, it had a really horrible life, this pipe. Cleaned it the best I could. It was a uh, previous owner, over reamed it. Um, scorch marks all over the top of the bowl. Um, this thing had seen better days. So he bought it for a couple bucks. Yeah, so my question is, if I, if I have an inkling, if I, if I know that somebody is buying for a reason outside of collecting or pipe smoking, I guess for me, it has more to do with the, um, let's face it, there are hundreds of thousands, if not more, pipes out there. It's not like we're running out of estates to go to and buy these things. And the pipes that these people were buying weren't exactly like top of the line several hundred dollars when they were first made. But in preserving stuff like this for future use and, and proper use, I guess, I don't know. It kind of takes me back to uh, the whole typewriter thing where uh, if I know somebody's eyeballing a typewriter and only looking at the keys, and I know they're going to go home and make some type of shitty, shitty art with it and cut the keys off, do 
do I not sell it to them? In that case, my, my answer is uh, pretty much no. Because <laughs> it's not a pipe. And there is a finite number. They're still making pipes. That's the big difference. They're not still making good, high-quality uh, typewriters anymore. Every machine that gets chopped up, broken apart, thrown into the scrap heap is one less typewriter that will ever exist. I don't have that dilemma with pipes per se. And I don't know why they wouldn't buy the corn cobs. I mean, they're like, most of them are two or three bucks. So, switching over to the whole typewriter aspect of it, people enjoyed them, got a lot of comments on them, people were fascinated with the different designs, um, I did have a couple people coming up asking about writing as opposed to on a computer, how different it is, do you get better results? But none of those people bought one. Um, so I'm wondering if this is the end of the road for trying to be a typewriter dealer of some kind. And if so, what the hell do I do with the ones that I still have? Alright, so uh, I, I did get a message from somebody recently asking about two certain pipes that were um, going to the market yesterday. They were a little late to the game, but I have a feeling I still have one of those pipes. I'm going to have to check. I'll write them back. Um, I do still have uh, several pipes available. I sold maybe 25% of them. Wasn't bad. People weren't even haggling. There was one kid that was like, hey, I only have a 10 and this, this thing's 12. I'm thinking, well, I only paid five for it, so. And on that note, I'll let you guys go. Uh, and until next time, take care of yourselves. I'm going to finish this pipe. <laughs>